I just been treating you guys right, man. Shame. It's a shame. It is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is increasing. And, and granted, granted, violent crime stuff has gone down. I mean, we are getting better and more civilized. But as far as, you know, the individual type of things, it seems. It's like the family unit. is Family being, unit's a thing of the past. Yeah. And, uh, the, and the, the men, the mind, there was a, the head game is being distorted and destroyed, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of issues with so, all that. Yeah. I, it's, it seems <laughs> weird to say in 2019, 2018, 2019, that we would be experiencing these problems, but here we are. Yeah. I mean, Gary Vee says there's no better time to be an entrepreneur, but at the same time, he warns that not everyone should be an entrepreneur. Yeah. It's been elevated to rock star status, but I think that... Which is that, good, I think. I mean... Yeah, because he got he, he said he was made fun of or it would have been seen as more of a... He would have been treated as a you know outcast for being an entrepreneur growing up. And he, you know, I think to a large degree, when he started you know doing entrepreneurship too... He experienced that. Yeah. Um, I think the key to remember is that I think it should be about focusing on what you're passionate about, what your knowledgeable and skill set is based in, and then trying to help people and know that when you do that, the money follows. But there's a lot well, of stuff. Knowing that comes also, with. knowing also, it's probably that on demand, that on demand um, idea that's kind of being that people are taking and infusing into entrepreneurship maybe and they're thinking oh this guy look he's doing it oh, he doesn't okay. seem to have very many difficulties doing it I can do it yeah. and they're taking that they're taking that that on-demand mentality and thinking that it's I can it's easy right. no it's hard <laughs> everything in life right. is hard and, and that that's why he says a lot of people are you know maybe become solopreneurs and then get depressed when they don't see the results when they expect them yeah. and then their family shames them or disowns them or says, I told you so, you should have got that yeah. nine to five job, right. finished college or did this and that and be a doctor lawyer. And instead, you tried to be the next entrepreneur or rock star yeah. and look how that turned out. See, I told you. And then I think people are wanting to avoid that conversation or they're having that conversation. And I know for me, there's been a lot of people in my life that have sat on the sidelines with regards to my entrepreneurship endeavors because they're probably just like, let's see how he does. That's how, it, that's how it goes, let, yeah. Let's see how he does. And we've seen, you've probably seen tons of celebrities, athletes, entertainers who, and I hear it a lot in rap songs, they're like, back then you didn't want me, now I'm hot, you're all mm. on me. Um, that was Mike <laughs> Jones' rap song way back when, oh my goodness. But, yeah. but there's a lot of that, like, where were my day ones? Where were my loyal, you know, people that were with me before? Where were you at during the come up, right? And it's just like, they weren't. And that includes family, friends, spouses, significant others, previous employers, that's, current employers. Um, that's everybody. We tend you know? to be like, fickle, you know? Yeah, We have a hard true. time seeing past the tip of our nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with bandwagon jumpers after that. And just that's like, it, hey, you know, oh, hey, you're, you're, you're getting some status, social status, yeah. or you're getting some money. Hey, about that, um, I know it's been a little while, but you know what I'm saying? Can you help a brother? Mm -hmm. out? Can you help a sister? Out? And it's just like, for real? I had the, you this, know, it was <laughs> like, for real, we on that? You I, know? Talked to this, I talked to a, a buddy a couple of months ago, and uh, it was when the lottery was up to 800 million or something. Oh, yeah. Was, I think one million. of them overhit a billion. I think it was over a billion. Yeah, it's crazy. And so he said, hey, I got this theory. What if I hit the lottery today? And tomorrow, I start calling people and saying, or he, 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 wanted to, he wanted to try this idea out, rather. Not really a theory, but yeah. wanted to try this hypothetical idea. Situation. Hypothetical, yeah, hypothetical. Yeah. Said, said, I would like to hit the lottery, get that, you know, five, six hundred million after taxes. Mm -hmm. And then the first thing I want to do is I want to start calling friends or close family and saying, hey, I'm in a bad spot. Mm. I need to borrow $2,000. And see if they go, and if they say yeah, come and get it, go pick it up, and then next day you come back with a briefcase. And I thought it's actually kind of an interesting idea. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And that's assuming that the person who won the lottery doesn't go bankrupt or resort back to the life they had, which, like homelessness, which is seventy percent of people do. Yeah, because seventy something percent of the lottery winners go broke. So let's just say he and others would be the thirty percent that yeah. would. Let's give the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> just, <laughs> right. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot to be learned with regards to instant gratification, delayed gratification, and I know that in my life, I've definitely been impacted from those with regards to health, 
finances, relationships. I mean, relationships, the way that it plays out for me in the past has been like you text somebody and you don't get a response oh back. Oh my gosh. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. You don't get a response back. Maybe, you know, three, four, six hours. Sometimes, you know, it's it's a whole 24 hours. It's the, you go and through it, all the stages of trauma waiting for that text. Oh, oh yeah, back. yeah. And then here's the two things that really make it worse. Number one, I would see them communicating on social media during that time. Oh, man. So you know that they have their phone and they're interacting with it. And then on top of that, the times where I've taken four to six hours, but they took maybe 24 hours, but then I got flack for, hey, where were you? Who were you talking to? Well, With this, that, and it's just like, okay, so now there's a double standard on top of you are choosing not to communicate. So it's just like, how do I respond with that? I mean, that has to do with instant gratification because communication is so instant now. You oh text somebody where before you would, you know, write a letter and it would have to go on horseback for a week and then they would they'd have to receive it. They might take a few days and then take a horseback back to you and you know, it'd be like two and a half weeks before you got back your little letter back, right? Or signing on to AOL and getting trying to get into a chat room. <laughs> or that, right? You know what I mean? It's twenty eight point eight K. The <laughs> You know, all that. You, can yeah. you can you imagine? Could you imagine if 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 we something happened? They you know they drop a, one of those EMT EMT bombs, atom bombs or hydrogen bombs? Hi, no, or, or just oh, just, takes out electronics. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had to let's say <laughs> what let's say let's just say we have to go back to those AOL days. Well, that wouldn't be available. Can you imagine? Suicide rates would probably quadruple. Yeah, there would be a lot of anxious. Just feelings. jumping out of windows. Yeah, I can't do this. Jumping out of windows. I haven't gotten my like, comment, share quota for the day on social media. The dopamine is not being released. I have, I have a void of dopamine. You know, I, can, I remember, I, I'm, I'm guilty. I'm, it's, I'm as yeah. guilty as sin on Twitter. I don't, even go, I don't even go on social media anymore, really. I go on no. Facebook occasionally okay. yeah. uh, just to see how everything's doing. Mostly because I... I can't listen to other people's political opinions anymore. Okay. Well, um, I remember going on Twitter. This is probably I don't know a year ago, I guess. And I remember I, I I thought I just said the most profound thing anybody could possibly say, and I thought I, I as a response to somebody that said something silly, I wanted to peg him. <laughs> and I thought, man, I don't think I've I've never written anything better than this. This is probably this is this is it's good. It's gold. Peak Marco. Okay. This is peak Marco. Nice. And I just remember, I put my phone down, and probably five minutes later, I picked it up to look. Is there any comments? And there's no comments. And I, I did that probably three or four times. <clears throat> and I remember looking at, I remember just think, sit, stopping what I was doing and thinking, are you kidding me right now? You're this charged up over getting or not getting a response yeah. to something you thought was totally awesome? And you're free, you're, look at you. Just look at yourself. This is absurd. Yeah, we're seeking what's, validation. What's wrong with you? And that was kind of the point when I said, all right, no more of this Twitter stuff, man. I can't do it to myself anymore. Yeah, I primarily use YouTube um, as an education tool. And you can make, and you a, can make money off and, it. Yeah, it's a business tool, too. Yeah, it, it helps and people. That's I guess the, Facebook, too. But that's the exchange. Yeah. I'm providing education and insight in exchange for their attention and it's monetized through ad revenue or products and services that I offer. That's the, right. it's the value exchange, yeah. right? Content value for their eyeballs and attention. So that's just how it works, right? Uh, but yeah, Facebook, yeah, you can do that now too. You can become like a, I forget what it's called, so something similar. But yeah, you can insert ads or have ads play. You can make, you, you can monetize yeah. it. You can, There's you criteria can involved, which, yeah. you know, you can Google that, but um, yeah. There's lots of criteria involved in everything. Anyway. <laughs> that's right, pre-qualification. For customers, for people to be to make money on them, yeah, yeah. There's always whether it's getting into grad school, college, dating, customer, business relation. I mean, everything has. If it's done right, there should be some pre qualification. Yeah. Questions That's or true. criteria. Yeah. Because then it puts a little more value. It does. As long as it's reasonable, but at the same time, you can't let everybody in. Right, because that's part, make it exclusive. That's 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 the Harvard Got appeal, it. right? It. It's it's all about exclusivity. How many you let that's in? How it started? Because their case studies are what I studied in my honors classes at college in Ohio State. So I was getting the same education, 
plus or minus with the professor and the environment a little bit, but I didn't have to pay the price tag. Yeah. But that name is like a brand name of a car. You know, they're like the Bentley of, you know, higher education, you know? So, or Rolls Royce maybe. You they're know, about something. to pay some really heavy fines right now. Oh, uh, okay. Discrimination issues. Uh, for, uh, okay. Admissions. Admissions. Mm. Was it the Asian? It's, it is, yeah. I'm half Asian, so you know. Mm. I just want anyway. treating you guys right, man. Shame. It's a shame. It is. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we should probably protest it. That would be productive. A silent protest? Just oh, like one of those real this. ones. Like, well, oh, picket? All those heroes we see on CNN. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so we're going to wrap it up. Definitely good conversation. How can folks uh, get connected with you, or or what's what's the best way to connect with you if they want to learn more about um, um, what you do, which is helping people in their financial situation? Well, you can. You're gonna put my phone number up. Uh, maybe email. Email address. Does that yeah. work? Yeah, put my. I'll give, give my email. Um, you can catch find me on Facebook. I think I'm tagged in it. Okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have. I'll have his information below. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a good way. Uh, I think that's. That's good. Okay. Do you don't put your phone number up. Mm -mm. We're good. Okay, yeah. we're good. Facebook, yeah. I'm on Gmail. He'll put that up for me. That sounds good. And um, yeah, as always, anybody can reach out to me. Um, just send me a message on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you want to. Um, I'll have more information there. And yeah, thanks for watching. And hopefully, you gained some experience with regards to maybe maybe perspective is the word um, on instant gratification as well as delayed gratification and can apply some of those principles to your own life and check out some of those resources and names that we've mentioned good resources yeah yeah, yeah. hit the like button if you did hit subscribe on youtube for future video updates and make sure to check out the links in the description below so you can learn more and we'll see you in the next video or um, the next time you catch me online or marco boom <laughs>